Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Live for my Cast Off Crew Friday video, or Cast Off Friday, I guess. So, we were away for March break, and I crocheted up a storm. So, for those of you who don't know, I got to meet Sweet Peg and Rose. Um, if you haven't seen that already, but anyway, I thought I would say it again because I was so flippin' excited. And she brought me some yarn, and I created this with it. Now, I'll take this one off for now, but I shall show you. I actually did, can you see that? I did the rib stitching around the bottom, which I've never done for a newsboy, but I kind of really like it. And, like, I got so many people commenting on it, and you can, like, kind of, like, flip it to the side, because I did it kind of like a beret, and then I just added the um, brim to it. And I'm trying to do some different brims now. Because I find that some of them just don't work. Like, they kind of have this funky shape to it, and then it misshapes the whole hat. So, I like this one that I did. I hope that it's showing, because I'm not looking at the camera. But, um, I really like it. It's not too wide. Because I've done some also that are, like, way too wide, and I don't like them. Airplane or helicopter going over my house? Sorry if that's nice. Airplane. Airplane. So, yeah. So, I like it like this. And you can pull it down a little bit more. You can have it up like that. You can kind of pull it forward. Um, and it would look like that, obviously. And I, I was thinking that if I actually put the little snap button in it, like how cool would that be? Look at it. I really, really like it. Anyway, so that was the yarn from Sweet Pagan Rose, Crochet Zombie. Um, and she got it from, please correct me if I'm wrong, from Anna Spire, I believe. So I hope that I'm right. And it's this really pretty variegated, um, I don't remember what the name is called, but it's UK yarn. How exciting is that? I made something with UK yarn. Yay! Okay, now, as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a long time, I donate massive amounts of hats every year, or I've done it twice, so I can't say every year, but um, to Crafting for a Cure, right? Um, through the crochet crowd, I found out about it, and I just love this idea. So, for those of you who are, have been doing it, your hats are so appreciated, or your items, whatever you make, sweaters, scarves, slippers, you name it, um, they're really appreciated. So, I'm making it yay, with the, the cotton yarn that Zelda and RJ3 Z sent me. I thought that that would be really nice to give, um, kind of from the both of us, because she sent me the yarn, and then I'm making the hat. So, there's another one, and I have a ton of them that I'm making. So, and then I made this kind of, kind of like a fedora, and I did the new, um, the new way of going up when you're closing, finishing a row, starting a row, sorry, starting a row. And look at how clean my seam is. It's right here, and you can hardly tell. Like, it's seriously amazing. The only reason why you can tell, oops, I did it wrong way. The only reason why you can tell is because they're so close together. But other than that, you can't really tell. I have a little tiny, tiny tail there that I have to cut out. So, um, my mom loved this hat. So I was thinking of giving it to her, but I don't know if she'll wear it. It's getting too hot now, so. And you can kind of like play with the brim because I did the brim is single crochet. I love it. And it's hot. It's brown. I love it. So I was like, how cool would this be? You can like, you know, punk it up or whatever. And can you see? You can flip it up on the one side and then put this side down so it looks kind of flapperish. Or you can, can you like flatten the bottom. Yep. If you put all the sides down, it looks very like old fashioned flapper hat. And then I've only done one so far, but I do have more yarn. I did the hand cozy to go with it. And I did my very first time doing. Wait, is it my first time? My second time. Doing what? Mobia scarf. Uh, I think it's my second time. No, I think it's my first time. I don't remember. Anyway, no, you see? You made yes, right, I did. It was tighter up to here. Yeah. And I really like that. But this one I did longer. Because this yarn is really warm and I typically really want it right up tight against your neck. And you can always just kind of like do that, right? And stuff in your jacket or whatever. So this is basically the same as an infinity infinity scarf. You just twist it as you're joining it. You can twist it as many times as you want, basically. So I did one twist in it, 
and it has this really pretty effect to it, and that's a Mobius scarf, okay? Now, I told you guys that I got an order for eight uh, dishcloths, right? And the lady has neutral colored house. She's like, I really want something that's not very vibrant. I'm like, um, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> I was like, I, I can go and get you some, but I do not own any that are vibrant. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay. Just use what you have. So I used what I had. I have that. I made like a ton of them and that way she can pick. So she actually called me while I was at the cottage. And um, this one right here is seriously my favorite. I love this color for one. It's just kind of like really aqua blue. And I like this stitch. So this is just single stitch. But what you do is um, one single stitch and then one chain stitch. And it starts with 21, I believe. And then, yeah, and then I don't know how many rows it is. But whatever. I usually do this. So if you're doing washcloths and you like want to figure out how you're finished, I'm not sure I need to talk that fast. <laughs> Sorry. So you can you have to do it half fast. So um, that's what I do. It folds in half with a triangle. It's basically square, right? And there's another one. That's a rib one. Can you see? Oh, can you see it? Yeah, look, and it's really stretchy. Look at that. Look at the color going nuts because I'm putting stuff up to the camera. Okay, let me hold them back a little bit. See if that helps. Not much, but anyway. So, as you can see, dishcloth crazy again. You remember at Christmas time I had an order for 20 of them? Isn't that beautiful? My brother actually bought one while we were at the cottage. This one, because they only liked the one, it was a huge one. There's another ribbed one. And I was playing around with all different kinds of um, designs, I guess you could call it that, because I told you guys that I would like to do some tutorials for the washcloth. So perfect way to do it is I test them myself first before I say, okay guys, let's dive in. So I was playing with a lot of stitches, so I definitely am going to have a good amount of um, uh, tutorials up when I start the dishcloth tutorials. See, look how so many. It's a little crazy. Yeah, they have like chevrons in them sometimes because depending on how you um you start the pattern. See? Isn't that cool? Zigzags or chevrons, whatever you want to call them. So there you go. I'm meeting the lady next week to give her her cloths. Alright. Now this I'm Almost saving. I go. <laughs> I'm saving for last. Sorry. Because I totally love it. Now the reason why I bought this yarn was because we were making the God's eyes. And I thought this would be really nice because it was kind of fluffy and it added some texture. Seriously soft. It's called Boucle, and I unfortunately don't remember the name. My sister-in-law is like, it's kind of taupe. Actually, I don't think there was a name. Maybe that's why it was so cheap. It was only three fifty for a big skein of it. Charlie's moving the keys. Um, at the bargain shop. Bargain barn. No, bucking up. The bucking up. Yeah. In Cobaconk, Ontario. Yay, Cobaconk. So I made this. Oh my gosh, you don't understand how soft it is. I was wearing it at the cottage. Look at that. Look, I had some fringe. I love fringe. Seriously. One of the softest yarns I've ever, 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 ever owned. And that, that, um, the, the, the orange, brown, and black cardigan. Oh yeah, that was nice too. So, um, that's it for my cast off video for today, Friday. We will be doing Marina's after this because yeah. it will be late even though it was supposed to be up yesterday but we were really busy yesterday yeah. and i was out all day for like yeah. five hours six we hours, almost six hours have taken out the sewing machine yeah so show, excited show them show them no 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 no, no 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 we have to do that in a separate mm -hmm. video if we're going to show it so um i'm gonna possibly have some sewn items next week i used to sew um, that's how Kids Live started out. I don't know if I've ever told you guys the whole story of Kids Live and how it started out. When Marina was born, she was really tiny. She was uh, 5 pounds, 6 ounces, so they say. And then they changed it to like 5, 3, and then 4 or something. And then they couldn't make up their mind. So I'm pretty sure she's recorded in the hospital books as 5, 3. Maybe. But on my picture, it was 5, 6. Yeah, because like I said, they kept changing it. So, anyway... Um, it was difficult, and she was short. She was only 18 inches long. It was 
so cute. She can fit like in my arm from here to here, and like I would hold her like a football. I hate when the screen does that. So it was difficult to find her clothes. Even preemie clothes didn't fit her. So what I did was I started sewing my own clothing for her. Or her uh, own clothing. I had to wear like almost like like dolly dolly clothes. clothes. Yeah, which is why I still call her now to this day my dolly. If you ever hear me saying dolly, that's Marina. I do it all the time, and she's like, whatever. Now she's so used to it, but um, if I call one of her friends that. I was smaller, I was, I was smaller yeah. than that. Look, she was smaller than this, because look, this baby is actually longer than her. So her, her feet went to like my middle knuckle, and then her head would rest in my elbow. And I used to carry her around like this. Hi, Zeus, my dolly, my dolly. That's her Sally. That's so, Susie, not Susie. Sally. Sally, excuse me. It's an S, right? And uh, whatever. So, um, yeah, so then I started making clothes for her. And what I was doing, of course, was hats. I am in love with hats. Couldn't find any hats that fit her in the store that were really nice. Okay, they do have hats in the store that fit preemies, but they were ugly. Not necessarily ugly, but they didn't have any pattern to them. They were white, yellow, or blue, or green, or like baby color, right? Pink. And I'm like, oh, seriously? So what I did was I went to Fabricland. Never been to Fabricland. Oh my heavens. It's like, oh my gosh. It, it's just it's heaven. It's Fabric Heaven. Yes, that's what they should have called it Fabric Heaven. Creator's Heaven. I don't know, something heaven. Seamstress's heaven or something. But um, they have amazing sales all the time. And because I was a member, I used to get like crazy sales. Like they would put like buy one, get free feed of Fabric Free or something like that. Oh or my God. It was crazy. So yeah, I but started out that way. If you had to get free feed, it's that much. It, but when you get one, wait, you only pay for one, but you're getting four feet, it's a good deal. So wow. I started making sun hats, and then I started making these little cute capris and tank tops. And um, they weren't even tank tops; they were like they were a trapezoid with material. Like with, um, I actually made the straps. I guess you could call them yeah. the strings, whatever, out of the same material. And it tied here and tied behind my back. Yeah, and they like she just loved them. So anyway, that's how kids' lids started, because I started making lids hats for my daughter so she is essentially the reason why it's named kids lids i think that's a really cool story so um and then uh long story as to why it stopped making them but i just couldn't keep it up i had to find a regular job and everything um and i just didn't have the time that it took to sew because i was up sometimes all night sewing and it just got to be too much so kids lids went on hiatus for a few years and then when i found crochet again i was like i'm not changing the name of my company because my favorite thing to make is hats so there you go um but now we're going to be back to doing the um material hats i love fabric you don't understand i'm a junkie for fabric i love bright vibrant colors and patterns and and it's just so enjoyable for me it makes me happy it really does the fabric and color in anything makes me happy i don't like dark even though i'm wearing black which is really weird i'm wearing i'm wearing gray pants but then i'm wearing my blue crocs <laughs> yeah we're wearing crocs here already people you know why because it's been like 31 degrees in canada yep. well in toronto anyway we're having summer weather thanks to global warming we're having a humid X already. You could actually put on your air conditioner. Yep. Like, what is this? Dude, the other it's day, March. Um, I think it was yesterday when uh, me and Kevin went to the beach. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he actually got a sunburn. Yeah, like serious sunburn. Beach. He looks like a lobster. So did I. And it was I, kind of funny because he was wearing a bandana. So. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's, got, he's got a lot across his head there. And his nose, his nose looks like Pip's right. Lobster nose. He was okay. sort of like a yeah most definitely all right everybody that is it for me right now again please subscribe comment and like the video look down below in the subscription box not subscription uh description. what do you call that description box thank you for all of the other members of the cast off crew we love you there's our hearts for you wait look there's a heart on my shirt oh yeah look look it's a robot heart <laughs> all right everybody see robot. you next week robot. They do. Our model? Share your smile. <laughs> Bye, everyone.